Um, now we got to demonstrate the robot talking ability. Um, you can understand and talk about 13 sentence, 13,000 sentence, give or take. Uh, when you talk to the robot, the look, robot will look for the key words. Uh, it will try to understand the key word and try to reply back to you. So we're going to demonstrate that now. I go, what is today's date? Today's date is June 6th, 2007. What is a car? A car is what humans used to drive around in. Robots drive cars too. Who is George Bush? George Bush is president of the USA. Who is Nini? Who is Nini? Nini is my master dog name. She is a chihuahua. Do you like chocolate? Yes, I love chocolate. Chocolate is delicious. You have big boobs. Stop teasing me and stop picturing me in your mind. Now we're going to test uh, the software ability to tell weather. And well, we're going to demonstrate right now. I go weather, France, Paris. Temperature is 14 degrees with few cloud and fog, and the wind speed is 17 kilometers per hour. I go weather detail, Japan, Tokyo. This is a report for Tokyo International Airport. The report was made 20 minutes ago at 5 a.m. UTC. The wind was blowing at a speed of 35.2 kilometers per hour from south 180. The wind was calm. The temperature was 24 with a dew point at 16. The temperature felt like 25. The atmospheric pressure was 1,008 hectopascals. The relative humidity was 60.9%. There were a few clouds at a height of 762 meters. The overall visibility was greater than 10,000 meters. I go then knee. Um, I go how's the weather outside? The current temperature is 8 degree with broken cloud and no precipitation and the wind speed is 6 kilometers per hour. I go I'm going outside. It's a bit cool outside. Have a nice day. The same as what? Same as what? I go stop. Uh, basically, trying to understand the sentence, so it trying to process uh, what it should talk. So the logic way of best answering. Sometimes it think you trying to say to them something, so you trying to ask you what you trying to say. So that's the software, one of the software ability to uh, asking a question if it doesn't understand. Uh, Basically, if you uh, if you keep the sentence short, the robot should be able to talk back to you. It can distinguish between uh, water, coffee, coke, orange juice because it can recolor very well. Um, if you tell Ico you're going outside, example, if it's raining outside, then Ico will tell you to bring umbrella. If it's like foggy, it will tell you to be careful while you're driving. And if it's like thunderstorm, it will tell you to snow, whatever, and it tell you to dress warmly and drive carefully. So basically. It, you get the weather outside and tell you what to do if, you, if the condition is, um, is dangerous and basically to tell the weather from worldwide. That's one of the features. So to sum it up, uh, what's the difference between this uh, KHR2 and the stock version? Well, this one contains C7 mainboard and run by the soft, uh, software called Sendai stand for System Automation Network Diversity Artificial Intention. Um, what's so special about the software and the, uh, the small fire robot? Well, the software can handle nine cameras including FireWire or USB camera, camcorder, doesn't matter. FireWire would be better because um, the quality is better. It can handle 16 analog sensor for gyro, accelerometer, sonar, thermal, touch sensors, uh, so basically it handles 16 any analog uh, 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 sensors. Uh, what's so special to the software? Well, this software uh, with 
with the camera on, it doesn't require you to have a gyro, sound meter, or sonar for automation because the software was designed to use the camera as an eye and act as a sensor too. Um, the camera is, is used to control the gravity, center of gravity for the robot, and it will try to balance itself so when you're walking, it's not going to fall. So the, the, uh, the camera will sense the, the distance of the object and give it about maybe 5% error, the distance of the object, and with the sensitive boat, yeah, about 5% error and it can uh, automatically balance the robot itself. Um, so, it can avoid hitting the object and the camera can also act as an accelerometer too. So, why did I sign the software and the C7 board to control all the sensor? Because you don't have to buy all those extra sensors to, which cost less to make. Um, this basically, the software sent the software control the cap, uh, webcam and sent to the C7, C7 sent to the RCP and so it will have to act with the environment. Um, there are other features to the software too. Um, it can detect face recognition and can open the door to, for family number in theory. It can also, the robot is also designed with the software and the webcam or camera designed to make the robot can go up the stair but due to the limitation of the condo um, and the robot side it can't we can't really demonstrate that walk up the stair and open the door so basically to test out that theory if the software work or not we're currently designing a robot that is 1.54 meters in height so therefore it can actually open the doors and it can walk up the stair basically it would be 40 to uh, freedom of uh, uh, degree of freedom, so basically it will be two or two RCP and with C7 board and a whole bunch of servos are able to uh, do that. And currently adding new feature to the software like a uh, human motion sensor. We're, we're currently making the software to um, make it copy human sensor, meaning if I raise up my right arm, the robot right arm will, will, will raise up, and if I raise up my left arm, the robot left arm will raise up. It's basically sensing the human sensor to the camera, and then and it will counteract what you do with the, uh, uh, with, uh, with the uh, copying what you're doing. Um, and the software will able to synchronize when it's talking with the voice. So basically, if you're making like an Android or something, it's, the mouse should be able to uh, open and uh, and close, synchronize with, with while the robot is talking, and it could tell from uh, human facial expression. Uh, also, probably going to add the software to the uh, simple p uh, taste bud, meaning so it tastes water. It knows water if it orange juice, no orange juice and you could like Pepsi with no Pepsi. So simple beta test is not, not not that bad to program uh, with a uh, sensor taste. Um, that should be fun to program. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. So yeah, basically you could do a lot of condos, just simple multiplication with C7 boards and using the Sendai software and you should be able to do voice activation and all those stuff and you don't need all those expensive sensors. Uh, and it's also it can detect motion sensors too, so that might be useful for uh, for security reasons at home. But anyway, thanks for uh, for watching the video, and that's about it.